let's let's have a little thought experiment here right you're playing in a virtual world and it's got these pictures and they're looking pretty good and you think oh that's pretty good you know i like these pictures and i make pretty well you know there's a they're only, I mean, it's a 3D world, but I'm only seeing it in 2D on the screen. So maybe if I got like the little headset on and put that on, ah, now I can see it in 3D. Uh, but if I move my head a bit too much, oh, well, maybe if you put little sensors on so I can move my head, ah, yeah, now I can see it properly. Ah, yes, it's all here in, and, but I can still only seeing things. And maybe I could have maybe some feeling as well. So I put a little data glove on and, uh, yes, oh, it feels warm. Oh, that's good. But I'm still... I'm not hearing things, oh, I've got the goggles on, oh, um, and I haven't got this sense of, of being in a place, and maybe I want to be able to move, so i uh, tell you what, let's get these big, like, coffin things and fill them full of these gels, and I'll take off all my clothes and put on all these um, different devices, and I'll lay down it, and then it put these little electric currents through and make it feel hard or soft, so it gives me the impression that I'm actually walking through grass because it's generating, and now, now I'm beginning to feel I'm really in one of these places. But, of course, really what's all that's happening here is that... Um, and my, my, my senses are being fooled in, into this. What, what would happen if I was maybe just cut out the whole business with the fingers? Then you stick a little jack in the back of your head and it goes right into the spinal cord and then you're talking straight to the brain there. All the senses that come into your brain, they're all filtered and they're, and they're used to create a world model inside your head in your imagination. But if you could talk straight to that imagination and cut out all the senses, then you, it would be impossible to ignore it. You couldn't say, Oh, that's just a, uh, an image of a dragon. That would be a dragon. And if there was some kind of technology which could enable you to talk straight to the imagination, well, there is. It's called text. And it's been around for several thousand years. And I have seen people leap out of their chairs when a, a line is said in front of them, there is an immense fire breathing dragon here. And when you're typing, the output that you're typing is in words the same as the input there's no shift it's not that you're looking at a picture and then typing in words looking at a picture moving around a mouse around. it's the same environment it's all words it's all thoughts it's all the might it's all the imagination so when you're dealing with text it's really for people who have got strong imaginations and the tragedy is that many people have strong imaginations it's just they never get to play the text because they went for the graphics first. Will we always have text? We will always have text. Will it always be inferior to graphics? Well, in terms of player numbers, yes. In terms of player experience, no. Because no matter how far you take graphics, eventually, the farthest you can get is text. Hmm. That's a ramp for you. Excellent. <laughs>